Well, obviously right now, in the year 2015 AD, liberalism is the trendy worldview in America, and liberalism is essentially the most restrictive and oppressive worldview because it requires conformity. So now, you take for instance what happened with Frank Turek and Michael Shermer, which is that an LGBT activist group actually f called for the censoring of debates on college campus. You know, where the myth is that ideas are supposed to be exchanged. <laughs> uh, and so, those of you who are so very happy that anyone who disagrees with your liberal ways are being oppressed, you really need to be careful because as soon as the societal um, zeitgeist shifts to poltergeist, as soon as it swings the other way, then you won't be very happy when the same exact things are being done to you and your views. Note, for instance, that in essence, Dr. Drew and Zoe Turr just referred to Richard Dawkins as engaging in hate speech. So I'd like to see how that pans out. But I'm sure no one's even made the connection. Well, just listen to this. To this. Here's what they say in combination that if someone refers to someone else as being deluded, right, having a delusion, then that is hate speech. You have to deal with people like this, the hatred, the people that, you know, that, that come out against you and, no and say... We call you delusional, it wasn't case, and hate. Yeah, that's hatred. Okay. You, there's ramifications for hate speech, come out against you and, no and say... We call you delusional, it wasn't case, and hate. Yeah, that's hatred. Okay. You call you delusional, it wasn't case, and hate. Yeah, that's hatred. Okay. You, there's ramifications for hate speech. Well, pray tell, what is the title of Richard Dawkins' magnum opus? Uh, the God Delusion. This, by the way, is a book that at first Dawkins said would convert people into atheists once they read it. And then when it was torn apart for the propaganda pamphlet that it is, biblically inaccurate, logically inaccurate, theologically inaccurate, historically inaccurate, and so on. Uh, he just ended up saying, oh, it was a funny book. It's an amusing book. I think The God Delusion is actually rather a funny book. It's intended to be funny, and I, I think it, we get a lot of laughs. It's a humorous book. And, uh, well, I would also question his sense of humor, but that's another issue. So now, according to the supposedly science-based clinician, Dr. Drew, context of currently available scientific wisdom. Right. Why can't, because we're clinicians right. of currently available scientific wisdom. We're clinicians. Right. And the activists who can get away with threatening people with physical violence while placing hands on them in a threatening manner. Zoe Turr. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Referring to people as being delusional is no longer a uh, medical conclusion or diagnosis. It's actually hate speech. So I would like to see Dr. Drew and Zoe Turr be consistent and demand that Richard Dawkins be called to account for his hate speech. Yeah, I'd really like to see how that goes. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Call you delusional. The God delusions. Call you delusional. The God delusions. Yeah, that's hatred. I think the God delusions is actually a rather funny book. It's intended to be funny, and I, I think it, we get a lot of laughs. It's a humorous book. <laughs> Just complete blissful leopard spotted ignorance. Call you delusional. The God delusions. Call you delusional. The God delusions. Yeah, that's hatred. I think the God delusions is actually a rather funny book. It's intended to be funny, and I, I think it, we get a lot of laughs. <laughs> it's a humorous book. I've been writing a blog about how much you suck.
I've been writing a blog about how much you suck.